maiden voyage for me. Nice day out on Wildwood today to go give the boat a test drive uh, with my new friend Sean, previous owner of the boat. He was kind enough to trailer this here uh, to Wildwood for me and now we're going to give it a test drive, make sure everything's working. Super nice of him to do this. This is my first time owning a boat, so I've driven enough tillers, but this is my first boat like, like this, so it's good to get some insight on what to do. I'm so excited. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a po that's a positive thing right there. So you know, there's no major leaks. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, engines don't like being started if they're not in the water. Yeah. Because they're self-cooled. Yeah. So that would be really bad. That would be bad. Yes. So here's your up and down. Okay. It's on this stick here, right? So you've got an up and down on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could just as well go there or you can go here. Okay. So we want to get her in. And I always check the depth. Because like I say, I mean, it's it's deep enough, but it, it's not like huge deep, here, right? Yeah. And this needs to be in neutral, otherwise it won't start. Okay. Okay? And basically... So that's not bad, right? No, that's not bad at all. First start. <laughs> all right, my that's job's done. Your Get job's done. Good. Uh, miles per hour. I think the spec on this boat is 29 to 30 miles per hour. Yep. Um, that's new, out the door, everything working fine. Okay. And we'll see if we get that today. All right. And that'll tell you how, how good the quality is of the motor. Awesome. Because if we get close to that, you know, basically it's as, as good as new. And you, you couldn't get uh, any better conditions than this to open it up well, either. You can right? let it rip. So. Yeah. Now, you know, the experienced boaters we are, we, we made one stupid mistake. Do you know what it was? No. I wasn't paying attention. We made a mistake. You know we what? made a mistake? What is it? We didn't, we didn't put the life jackets on. Oh, jeez. Right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, we'll get in trouble so, for that. You know. We don't even have freaking life jackets on the boat, so oh, no. we could get a fine for we, that. We could. So I, I, I won't tell anybody if you so don't. I won't tell anybody, <laughs> but it just goes to show. Yeah. When you're focused on putting her in and putting the drain plug in, yeah, you forget stuff. Yeah. And what I what I did, which I really thought is is a good idea, is in my house I have a I have a boating checklist. Oh, good right? idea. And yeah. I write it down. And then just before I go, I make sure I've got everything. Yep. Did, did I tell somebody where I was going, mm. right? Things like that. And then um, and then I had a, a routine where I would, you know, you, you put me off my routine because I'm explaining stuff to you. Oh, right? geez, I do that to people. So, <laughs> Sorry, um, Sean. you know, that's why I forgot the life jacket. Yeah. But I just remembered now, right? you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, is everything fine? We're there, we got gas, we're there, checking yep. my gauges, everything. You know, now I feel good. I got the, I got the plug in. We're, we're ready to can go. Can you swim? I can swim. All right. Now, you know. I can swim too. I don't think it's going to be a problem on this small lake. No, but I mean, I mean if, we uh, going out, if we were going out to the Great Lakes right now, or yeah, something, I'd be going back. We'd be going back for sure. Yeah. I mean, here you get the shores right there. The yeah. shores right well, you there. Know, it's never like, it's never. like fishing a glorified uh, river is what it is. Yeah. So we let it rip. Sounds good to me.
especially on this lake, right? Yeah. When you when you slow down, you you don't want to just do it abruptly because you get that backwash coming in. Yeah. So if you really rip it and then you slow right down, you can get water coming over. So the back. ease into it. Ease into it. Okay. Yeah. Stuff you need to know. That's perfect. You want to ride your boat for the first time? Sure. It sounds <laughs> sounds like a plan. <laughs> Right. Here I want to put my foot on the gas pedal. And, uh, there's no gas pedal. It's not so. that fancy. No. <laughs> so basically, uh, release the uh, release the hounds, yeah. And there you go. It's engaged. So yeah. Good to go. But it's good to good to see you doing it. Gets me uh, gets me used to the process. Exactly. See now I can kind of maneuver it and come in a little bit more straighter, right? Yep. my motor up a little bit now I'm going to give it a bit of juice to get her a little bit further up. right okay. put her in neutral and I'm going to look again see if I'm level right I'm about that far on that side and that far on that side perfect so now I know I don't even need to worry now because I know I'm level gotcha okay just like that so now the boat is secured to the trailer, we can pull her out. Nice. Yeah, again, Sean. Thank you very much uh, oh, you're welcome. for your assistance. I really appreciate everything that you've done. No problem. It was uh, it was a good morning, and uh, I'm glad you're happy with the boat. And yes. I just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was working for you. So very good. Yeah. So you don't. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let me shake that hand of yours. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that kind of service with all your Kijiji purchases, well, you, but you, you do find some good some good people out there. That's for sure. You, you haven't got the bill yet. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I should have kept just my kidding. mouth shut. <laughs> just, just kidding.